I hope everybody has a good New Year tonight, New Year's Eve, and all that stuff. And everybody stay safe. This is for Carlos in Ohio. Brand new George FCC. Here we go. Very basic alignment can be done to these. Nothing spectacular, doesn't really need anything. So I did offer on Facebook that if you order one of these, I'll give you that for no charge. And that's what I'm doing between, I think it was Friday evening when I posted that until tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. and 59 seconds, whatever. If you place an order between now and then, that's what you're going to get. Um, does it really need it? Not really. If you want the carrier up to 4 watts and stuff like that, I mean, it's really not anything great that you can do, but some want that kind of stuff. So after we go through the holiday and everything, I'm going to think about, you know, the charge and maybe what that would be. Obviously, it's not going to be as in-depth as a 10-meter radio, so of course it's not going to be as much. So I'm going to be fair and honest about that kind of stuff. So... Uh, you know, there's not just going to be them, oh, it's $50 extra. Eh, that's ridiculous. I mean, the radio works really good the way it is. So that And that's a good thing for everybody, including myself. I'm really happy. So um just going to start off here in AM. I need to figure out where we're at in power. We'll find that out in a minute. I think that I'm on the high power setting. And yes, I am. So the nice thing about this radio is you can... Adjust the RF power while you're in TX. So I do like that. It's almost like you have a dial on the outside, except you just press a button. You just press this button in, and it's RF power. And it will go away in a second here on its own. And it'll stay it will stay there. So let's lock that in to where we're seeing that nice carrier on that. And I have it set to just about four watts. I think out of the factory it was like 3.5 or something so I did increase it I'll do that to all of them uh, there's a couple more orders I have uh, the ones that are order after that I'll figure out something it's not gonna it's not gonna be a ton or anything like that so I'm gonna be like I said fair and transparent and I don't know we'll just see how it goes there may not even be a charge or something you know um, I just I don't really know yet because this is kind of a new radio but uh, you know I understand it's a little pricey and you know we're at we're at what we're at right now with it that's all i can say i don't make the price it's a, a manufacturer's retail price set forth by president and you know that's what they want that's what i have to charge so as a dealer so that looks really good though that's your am mod right there um four watts there's the average it's going up sometimes close to 10. the peak about 17 is where it's stopping at. Your spectrum analyzer that's real respectful there. We're going to drop the power down to level one. And now everything dropped. You can see this is significantly dropping. Carrier went down from four to one. Um, average power now from one is about two, maybe two point something. So a little bit of a drop off in that. Let's bring this back up. So that, I'm sure if I stop it, that's about the two division mark there, I think. Yeah, pretty much. My wife is vacuuming at the most uh, <laughs> appropriate time, but hey, this is the real world that we're living in here. So sorry, Carlos, but uh, she was nice enough to shut the door here to the to the shack. So there's that. It's nice and clean up there. That's what we got. Uh, we'll switch over to sideband and look at that. So, do lower sideband, and there's our transmit frequency, 1 kilohertz tone, which gives us like a steady signal on the spectrum analyzer to measure power, you have to have that, and that's why it drops our frequency down to 204, so hopefully that makes sense to everybody. I'm going to now put this to 700. And that should drop us to like 2043. Oops, not uh, 7,000. 700. There we go. Yeah, 2043. So whatever you put in, it's going to reflect that on the counter. So 700 hertz less, that's your signal. 
Uh, now we're going to in introduce the second tone, which will give us our waveform. Now this is low power, so I'm going to bump that up some. That looks really good, just like you would expect. Um, up here, this is uh, lower sideband, so yeah, we're going that way with the power. This is the second, uh, this is the 1.9 tone here. And then this is the 700 hertz tone introduced there. You can see the difference right there. And then let's go over here. Whoops. This 1.9 away would be 205. So that, hopefully that makes sense. The, those are the two tones that we see. And that's why they're represented there. The power is here on the frequency. And then also a huge drop off because there's no upper sideband power. So a little bit more power here because this is your lower sideband pass band right here. It's very, very narrow, which is what you want to see because that's telling you that the power is staying right on the frequency. So that's ideally what you want. Turn this power up all the way. Same situation, just a little more power. Bring that into perspective. That looks really nice. Average power is about six to seven. Peak envelope power is about 12. Now that's with the two tone and I think that's what they went for their testing. So I did adjust it a little bit. So it's slightly over 12 now. All right, Carlos, so I put a mic on here. That's what I got. And the mic types in dynamic. So that's what you would need for this. And it's a sideband. We're going to take a look at the power now on sideband. This is full power of the radio. One, two, three, four, five. Check, check. One, two, one, two. Real nice. Real nice power. Really surprised at this power, but uh, nonetheless, it's really good. So that's all the way up on sideband, all the way down. It's going to give you much less. Let me do some dusting, I think, looking at the shelf there. One, two, three, one, two, three. So about four something all the way down. And then level what is it level five which is in the middle level five is going to give you somewhere between you know 17 to 19 it's sitting there so a little bit less depending on what you want to run okay here's am transmit hit the button it's a little hard to do this one-handed with the camera okay just about four there really close so with four watts on AM that's what we're modulating to it's pretty respectable I think and then level five I already showed you this on the other video but um, just level five here 2.5 watt dead key Something like that, two and a half. So at two and a half, that's what we're gonna swing there. That's pretty respectable too. And then all the way down. Second, just about one. And all the way down is gonna be a lot lower power. So you know, you figure if you're at one watt and you're talking to four watts, it's you know about four times ratio. So we're just a little under that. Uh, if you increase that modulation too much, what I find is that it will it will negative compress the carrier, and you don't want that. So it gets a little nasty. So you got to keep it a little cleaner on the low side. So I don't think too many are going to run it this low, but that's what it's doing. If you did, so that part's done, and a lot of cool features. A little bit of a learning curve, probably for everybody. Once you get it, you'll learn it pretty fast. Uh, you can blow through some of the features. Talkbacks, super easy. Just hit the button and check one, two, check one, two. If you want to adjust the level while you're talking, whoop, you just turn the dial. And that talkback's already there for you. So that's nice. It's real easy. If you want talkback, I generally don't, but it's there if you need it. Um, all this stuff is usually the one here is if you hard press and hold. We'll do that with high cut that shuts it off so it's pretty simple stuff here rf gain 
is here. You can adjust it accordingly. Uh, might gain if you key up and you hard press. Whoops. Oh, there we go. You have to key up. There, just press, I think, on that one. Can't remember. I'm still learning the radio. I mean, I've only had it for like a day, if that, half a day. So, TX, yeah, TX and just press on that one. So, I think the slash blue means you just press it. So, there's a lot going on in one button here. But the manual will, will teach everybody everything they need to know, how to operate, the ins and outs. All the radios I set up are going to be set for might gain of 10. So, you won't have to worry about that. Probably never have to turn it down. Um, there is a span function that you can only adjust this number and this number, so you can go through the channels a little quicker. If you want to go 10 at a time, you can. But uh, there is a span function. It'll put a little line under this one and this one. It does not change this one or this one. So I'm assuming that will never happen. But who knows, years down the road, somebody might be able to crack this thing or something. There's some pretty smart people out there. All right, Carlos, uh, it's all set. I hope you enjoy it. And hope you had a Merry Christmas and hope you have a good New Year. 7-3. Take care.